Hi guys! Good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today, it's all about arithmetic sequence. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what if the teacher will ask you to find the 10th term of this given sequence? So we do have three examples. For number one, the teacher will ask you to find the 10th term of this given sequence. So actually, you can find it manually, okay, by just getting the common difference. To get the common difference, so example 5, 12, 19, 26. To get the common difference, simply subtract. 12 minus 5, second term minus the first term, that is 7. And you also need to check third term minus the second term. Okay? If it's the same, 7, therefore, the common difference is 7 and you are dealing with arithmetic sequence. So always be careful with this one class because there are some cases that these are given and you are not sure if it's arithmetic or geometric. So the thing that you will do, you try to subtract second term minus the first term is 7. Third term minus the second term is 7, and you try to check also the fourth term minus the third term. You subtract 26 minus 19 is still 7. So if the common difference are the same when you subtract, therefore you're dealing with arithmetic sequence. Because there are some cases that when you try to subtract the third term minus the second term, it's not the same with the second term minus the first term. Therefore, you're not dealing with arithmetic sequence. Maybe you're dealing with geometric sequence. So that's why you need to be careful with that one. Alright, so, so to get the, the common difference, simply subtract the second term minus the first term, third term minus the second term, so therefore our common difference is 7. So to get the value of the 10th term, you can actually add 7 by 26, so this will be 33. 33 plus 7, that would be 40, and you just need to check the 10th term. But, okay, the 10th term plus, it means the 10th position or the last term. Now, it's hard for you to find that, it, it's really easy to find that number, if you are just told to find the 10th term, but it's hard if the teacher will ask you to find the 100th term or the 50th term of this given number. So it will take time for you to find that number. At the same time, you will be committing mistakes. Sometimes you will commit mistakes in adding the numbers. So that's why we do have the formula. So the formula for this arithmetic sequence, there will be a sub n equals the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So a sub n is the term that we're told to find, the general term. n is the number of terms. So since we're told to find the 10th term, so our n here will be 10. So a sub 10 equals the first term is 5 plus n is the number of terms class. Of course, since we are told to find the 10th term, so the number of terms will be 10 minus 1 and the common difference we subtract it a while ago. The common difference is 12 minus 5. That would be 7. 19 minus 12 is 7. And 26 minus 19, that's still 7. So the common difference is 7 times 7. So this will be a sub, a sub 10 equals, or the 10th term. So that would be 5 plus 10 minus 1. That would be 9 times 7. Alright, so follow PEMDAS. Multiplication comes first before addition. So you don't need to add the number 5 plus. You cannot add 5 plus 9 because you need to. We need to simplify this one first. Multiplication comes first before addition. So this will be a sub 10 or the 10th term will be 5, 9, 9 plus, not, sorry, 9 times 7. This will be 63. So 9 times 7 is 63 plus 5. So a sub 10 will be 68. Alright, so that's how you find the 10th term of this given sequence. If we do it manually, let's try. So the common difference is 7. So 5, 12, 19, 26 plus 7. So 26 plus 7, that would be 30, 33, right? Plus 7, so the 6th term will be 40. Alright, plus 7, this will be 47. Plus 7, this will be 54. Plus 7, that would be 61. Plus 7, that would be 68. So the 10th term is 68. So you can actually do it manually if, if you're just looking for the 10th term. But how, what if the teacher will ask you to find the 100th term in this given, six ten, uh, given terms or the 50th term? So it will take time for you to find that number. So that's why you have this formula. So you pause the video, class check the solution. So let's try number two. All right.
All right, so number two, let's have three, seven, eleven, fifteen, and nineteen. All right, let's once again let's write the formula. N minus one times the common difference. You need to memorize this formula, class, for you to answer this one. So a sub n, we are told to find the twenty fifth term. So a sub twenty five, you're looking for the general term, the last term, and then a sub one is the first term, three. Plus n is the number of terms. Of course, we're looking for the twenty fifth term. So therefore, we have twenty five terms. So twenty five minus one times d. So a sub twenty five or the general term, the last term. This will be three plus twenty five minus one. Oh, by the way, we need to get the common difference. So the common difference seven minus three. So seven minus three. That's four. 11 minus 7 is 4. 15 minus 11 is 4. So therefore, the common difference is 4. So the common difference will be 4. Alright, so 25 minus 1, that's 24 times 4. So a sub 25 equals 3. So 24 times 4, that's multiply. 24 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, 6 carry 1, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, that would be 96, plus 96. Alright, so A, once again, do not forget plus, do not add 3 and 24, because we need to multiply this one first. Multiplication comes first before addition. So 3 plus 96, that would be 99. So therefore, the 25th term of this given sequence, that would be 99. Alright, so that's your answer. So for number 1, once again, our answer a while ago, that's 68. And for number 2, that would be 99. Alright, let's try number 3. So you pause the video class. for num Let's try number 3. Alright, so number 3. Let's get first the common difference. So, 22 minus 24, 22 minus 24, that would be negative 2. Alright, so 20 minus, okay, this is negative 2. Let's try to check. Third term minus the second term. 20 minus 22, that's still negative 2. So, therefore, the common difference is negative 2. Alright, same with 18 minus 20, that's still negative 2. Okay, let's use the formula. A sub n equals the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So A sub n, you're told to find the 20th term. So A sub 20, this will be the last term or the general term. The last term will be A sub 20. First term will be 24 plus n. Okay, n will be the number of terms since we're dealing with 20th term. So that would be 20. 20 terms minus 1 times the common difference is negative 2. So this will be a sub 20 equals 24 plus 20 minus 1, that's 19, multiplied by negative 2. So a sub 20 equals 24. So positive 19 multiplied by negative 2, that's negative 38. Okay? Positive 19 multiplied by negative 2, that's negative 38. And then we subtract, so 24 minus 38, this will be, so once again class, if the signs are not the same, do not forget the low, the basic rules in operations. If the signs are not the same, so we have positive 24 minus 38, subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. So 38 minus 24, this will be 8 minus 4 is 14, 3 minus 2 is 1, and since 38 is greater than 24, so we have negative 14. So the answer is negative 14. That would be our 20th term. A sub 20. Alright, so that's how you find, okay, that's how you find D, the 20th term, 25th term, and the 10th term. That's how you deal with the arithmetic sequence. So you try to answer this one class, you put your answer in the comment section down below. So what if you have this example? So let's just let's just have one example. So what if you have this example? All right, uh, five. Mhm. Mm 
and 20 okay 5 plus 6 11 6 all right how about this one class and then you find the uh, let's try 50 at term go ahead 50 at term all right so what if you have this example 5 11 17 and 23 and you are told to find the 50th term. So give me your answer on the comment section down below. So write your answer in the comment section down below. Let's check if you really understand the topic. And do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. Share to your friends, class, and your classmates so that we can help them. And if you have some questions dealing with arithmetic sequence, arithmetic series, and geometric sequence, go ahead. Feel free to write your, your question down below. We will be answering that one. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Goodbye for now. You have a great day. Bye-bye.